Hey, it was Androx here, and today we're going to be doing a video on the new confirmed hero called the Bear Tamer. I think I remember the uh, name of it. Um, so we just got a leak this morning from the TW server uh, that the new hero uh, has been announced, and we've got a fair bit of info plus a couple of images from that as well. So we're going to be reading out what exactly it is. So, the new hero is called Beast Tamer. Uh, its skill is na deals 90% to 170% damage to nearby targets and increases their damage taken by 10 to 28%, while Grizzly Bear takes 20 to 56% less damage for 9 seconds, cooldown of 12 seconds. So this sounds like it's basically two heroes in one. Uh, that's an interesting one. <laughs> um, didn't expect that one coming, that's for sure. Um, the Grizzly skill is the Beast Tamer takes 20% to 65% less damage and significantly, significantly increases critical rating for 3.5 seconds, cooldown of 5 seconds. Comes with an 8 of 8 heavy blow built in, which I think is like 30% chance to stun opponents for 3 seconds? I think, maybe. I'll have to look that one up. Um, this Grizzly skill levels up together with Beast Tamer. Crest talent applies to both. Main talent only applies to Beast Tamer. Separate health and energy bars. Wow. <laughs> Two heroes in one. Um, this is sounding incredibly overpowered. Um, we don't know much about the base stats yet, although apparently the Grizzly will have more damage and slightly more health than Dreddrake, which is absolutely unfucking believable <laughs> um, The trainer has similar health to Vlad and similar damage to AC, which is Atlantical, I think. So it's quite low, sort of like more of a tank-based thing. It sounds incredibly overpowered. Um, it'd be interesting to see how they balance this one, to be honest, because it this is definitely sounding even more of hate doing than usual. I'm, I'm sort of seeing this being good for, um, I don't know, raiding possibly. Um, I'm trying to, f I'm trying to think what it'd be pretty good at to be honest. Um, the fact that it's two heroes kind of come, probably will come in useful in a lot of PvP modes. So obviously your, your guild wars, I think this might come well in guild wars as well. Uh, Lost Battlefield, and I think the arena it'll do pretty well in as well. Like I say, it'll be very interesting to see how they balance this one. Uh, I've got a couple of images here. To be honest, I can't really see them that well on this one. Um, the other one, you can see them a little bit better. Uh, obviously, there you go. There's your um, Beast there, and there's your Beast Tamer on the right-hand side. So it's two separate heroes that, sh that have their own health bars. They share the same talent crest, but they they have their own individual main talents. Wow. <laughs> um, this is going to be an interesting uh, new hero, and uh, I'm definitely wanting to try and get this hero. It's just a shame that I can't afford gems right now, because I really would want to get this kind of hero. I've got to see if I can get it on my uh, Smurf accounts, if I'm quite honest, because I do have a few gems saved up on there. So it'd be very interesting to see how they balance this one because this has got the potential to become extremely overpowered. Um, you actually got one that does an insane critical damage rating, and then you've got one which takes a lot less damage. I think they both have a part of the skill which takes a lot less damage as well. So, like I said, be very interesting to see how they balance this one, uh, but definitely be a good inclusion to the game. Just hoping I can try and get him for myself. Anyway. What do you guys think about this new hero coming soon to Castle Clash? Drop a comment in the comment section below. Let me uh, let me know what you guys think of it. This has been Androx here. Until the next time, I'm out of here. Peace out. Yeah.